My name is Mark Tracy. I'm a painter, a theorist, thinker, in the sense of Hannah Arendt, sense of the Greek and the pre-Socratics, probably on a more everyday level of uh, art and life practice. About my current show, it's called The Massification Project, a study in painting and mixed media, and the idea of massification, is, it's easy to understand. In Google, Facebook, etc., we see a massification of all information, centralized within a very few conglomerates of super intelligent technology and echoes back not that far and, and not that foreign to the massification of a cosmology of God, of heaven and hell, of a one world system. If you believe that you're in a one earth, a one cosmology, a one place that we all somehow need to fit. Well, if we all need to fit, then there's almost an implicit demand, imperative expectation to try to fit in. Uh, trying to fit in into a one world system is a massification that's gone awry and in a simple way of, of looking at this, I would like to merely observe, effectively be impacted by it, but almost at least attempt to try and not make a judgment about it. So this idea of technology, is it, is it something that I am supporting? Is it something that is concerning? Is it just both? Or do I feel like I, got, I have a handle on it? I think these are open-ended questions, open-ended concerns. But I would have to say in all honesty, I have a direct criticism against technology, but I'm also posing the question for everyone, really, to ask themselves, what do we think about this? Because it seems to be just the case that all over the world, uh, China in particular, but America is probably number two in this, that this is becoming the landscape. Uh, the arts, not just visual art, but any art form, music, uh, the dramatic arts, movies, television, aren't they some sense a way of either mirroring ourselves, reflecting ourselves, a very traditional idea of what art is, but a profound idea of what art is. As you look at art, as you look at the world as art, it's uh, despicable or it's sublime. Uh, either way, I think there's a takeaway that we need to pay attention to. There's a philosophy behind it, an ethics, a moral. Um, and these are critical concerns that I think most people would rather look away from it in a culture that's doing nothing but looking, but I wonder what they're actually seeing. It dawned on me that landscape paintings in general, the historicity of landscape paintings, were disingenuous today as the technologies that we embrace were vacant from the pictorial space. Where's the cell tower? Where's the direct TV dish that's there, actually? Uh, how about the cables, the power lines, the fiber optic cable, substations, it just goes on and on and on. Are we photoshopping literally or metaphorically every single image that we have in there? You see these picturesque, placid panaceas of utopianism where basically, even though they're done through maybe traditional methods like painting, photoshopping uh, technology from uh, what we want to see. Uh, to me, this is a disingenuous. I think our life is at cross purposes with um, the elements that, are conf that we're confronted with. Because of that it became a little more interesting to me and I decided to pursue what it is that we're ignoring at the same time embracing. This contradiction or more lightly a paradox became the material that I am now working with as far as the subject matter. The materials or the practice the process is all traditional oil painting, some of it's mixed media, which is more of a modern view on doing art, but the larger works that are all in traditional oils done in untraditional methods, but nevertheless not that untraditional in today's contemporary moment. Bringing the subject of technology, the immersiveness of technology within the conversable field also matching that with a very traditional form of painting on canvas, on linen, on wood supports, 
in a traditional light cube gallery um, showing art on an art open. I think this is enough anyways to get uh, at least some kind of a message across. Do we really want a surveillance camera in our bedroom? How about the bathroom? It seems like we don't want these things in many places, yet they're everywhere. They're in places that we don't even know. We're being recorded, we're being watched. I'm being right recorded now. and watched right now, absolutely. There's a point where art has to be tangible. It has to be sensed. You have to have that corporeality to it, that um, uh, it, it needs to be empirical. Art is, has three dimensions to it. You can smell it if you get close enough to it. And this show is going to be May 16th at Fulcrum Gallery. It starts at 6 o'clock. It'll go to 8.30. So you better be there. Hope to see you. I like art! Woohoo! Ha, ha, ha.